And they're off. And rearing on the outside, there was Bay Moon. Leola's girl got a great break and quickly opens up a length and a half. Calm, cool, and collected his racing second. Hustled up along the inside is Ann Seven. Now these three are now two lengths clear on the outside to Magical Grace, who's racing fourth. Just outside of that one is five-yard penalty. He's going to have to go wide, but just three lengths off the leader. Then we come back to She's Away, who's second last. And after the bad start, Bay Moon is seventh and last and six lengths from the lead. They're midway around the turn. Two of them on the lead on the inside. Ann Seven puts her neck in front. On the outside, Leola's girls trying to cling to her. Five-yard penalties, putting in a run on the far outside and swinging out from back from the back of the pack as she's away. They're off the turn, and Ann Seven shows away by a half length. On the outside, here's Leola's girl. Leola's girl and Ann Seven head and head, nose and nose for the wire. Leola's girl gets the lead in the shadow of the wire and wins it a neck from Ann Seven. Five-yard penalty was third. Magical Grace was fourth. And they're off. And breaking slowly there was Marfa's Thunder. On the outside, Dancing Threads broke well, goes right for the early lead. Sinalta is right there racing in second. Gap of a length and a half back to Doodlit is racing third, but has to go three wide into the first turn. Marfa's Thunder is racing fourth, about six lengths off the leader, and the trailer is Soul Digger. Six lengths would cover the field as they're midway around the turn, a half mile to go, and Dancing Threads and Tegan Alton shows the way by a half length. Just inside of that one, we got Sinalta racing in second. These two are going pretty quickly up front. Doodlit is racing third. He's about four lengths off the leader. Another two lengths back to Soul Diggers racing second last and seven lengths from the lead and the trailer is Marfa's Thunder. The race into the far turn, a quarter of a mile to go and Dancing Threads has taken the lead. She opens up the lead by a length and a half. Sun Nalta is racing in second and now swing to the outside by Blanford Stewart for her run. Another three lengths back to Doodlit beginning to pick it up a little bit of Soul Digger but still seven lengths off the lead of Sun Nalta who puts her head in front at the top of the lane. Along the inside, Dancing Threads is trying to cling to her, and they're still Stride for stride with the 16th to go. Dancing Threads and Tegan Alton. Sonalta and Blanford Stewart head and head. Nose and nose for the wire. Here's the wire. And that's a head bobber. I believe it was Dancing Threads, but that was very, very close. Racing in third was Soul Digger. Doodlet ran fourth. And they're off. And breaking outward there was Brother Patrick. Between horses, that is Gilded Forest going for their lead. Down towards the inside is Simple Justice and along the rail, Jukebox Jack. Ever Ringing is also in that leading group. The four across the track as they come by the stands for the first time. Brother Patrick is going to have to race wide into the first turn, racing fifth, but just two lengths off the leader. Then we come back to Capella. Etoile is back second last, and Pipestone Flyer is the trailer. Just five lengths would cover the field as they race into the first turn. A moderate pace on up front as Tyler Walker has the lead with Simple Justice. They lead three quarters of a length. Racing in second is Gilded Forest. Three wide on the outside. That is Ever Ringing. Racing along the inside is Jukebox Jack, who's got some racing room now. He's trying to find some racing room. He's got it there, and he moves up towards the lead. Four across the track, make it five across the track now as Brother Pratchett is right there on the outside. Racing in sixth along the inside is Capella Etoile's coming under a ride and three lengths off him. And now from the back of the pack, Pipestone Flyer is beginning to unwind, but he's still six lengths off the lead of Simple Justice, who leads past the quarter pole and opens up a lead a length and a half. Jukebox Jack is racing second. On the outside, Ever Ringin is racing in third. Another length and a half back to Gilded Forest, who's backpedaling under the pressure, and Capella Etoile. They come to the top of the lane, and Simple Justice is still there. But on the far outside, here comes Ever Ringin between horses, Jukebox Jack. But come to the 16th pole, Simple Justice still in front. On the outside, Ever Ringin. Simple Justice, Ever Ringin, Simple Justice, and Tyler Walker, they get there by one. Ever Ringin ran second, Jukebox Jacks was third, Capella Etoile ran fourth. Racing in the starter allowance challenge on the outside. Runaway with Corky got away well. J.A. Sundance down towards the inside. DM Matt Dillon's there as well. Also Vinny Dapu. But it's J.A. Sundance on the inside. On the far outside, Runaway Corky. Runaway Corky on the inside. J.A. Sundance, Runaway Corky's going to win this one clear. He wins it a length from Vinny Dapu. FDD Discovery was third. J.A. Sundance ran fourth. Racing in the McNally Memorial. On the far outside, Limelight Lady is hustled up for their early lead. Bargain by between horses down towards the inside, Denise on bar. Road Song's got away racing in fourth, just two lengths off the leader, and the trailer is Disco Miss. Six lengths would cover the field. They thunder by the grandstand for the first time, and Road Song's and Dwight Lewis going to show the way. Along the inside, Denise Sonbar is racing in second. Just outside of that one, Bargain By is racing third. Three wide for Limelight Lady is racing fourth, and four lengths off the lead. Then another three lengths back to the trailer 
who is Disco Miss. Seven lengths would cover the field as they straighten away from the run down the backstretch and race by Brucey's Gate. And on the lead is Del Road Songs and Dwight Lewis. They're clear by four. The Nissan Bar is racing in second. Limelight Lady is just outside of her racing third. Another two lengths back to Bargain Bry, who's under a ride and not doing a whole lot. Another two back to the trailer, who is still Disco Miss. They race into the far turn, a quarter of a mile to go. Road Songs has the lead, but she's getting a little tired now as Limelight Ladies has to go after him now. Racing along the inside. We've got the Nissan Barros racing third. She's closing in as well. Three more back to bargain by and Disco Miss. They're off the turn and Road Songs is still there. Shows away a length and a half. The Nissan Bar is chasing Gamely in second along the inside. Bargain by. A 16th to go and Road Songs is clear by three lengths. Bargain by has moved into second. But Road Songs and Dwight Lewis are going to win the McNally Memorial. They win by two. Bargain by ran second. The Nissan Bar was third. Limelight Lady ran fourth. Racing in the Burt Delaney Memorial. Towards the inside of Dorsey is hustled up for the early lead. Get her done. Got her in on the far outside. Dreaming Dancer. Also in that leading group is 88. Also right behind the leaders is Dictatorship. Then we come back to Jack Mann who's racing in six and about four lengths off the leader. Another two lengths back to Casanova King who's racing second last and Nomo Bambino is the trailer. Eight lengths would cover the field as they're midway around the turn. Get her done. Got her did and Tegan Olton open up the lead by three. Along the inside Dictatorship is racing in second. Three wide on the outside. 88 is right there. In between those two, we've got a Dorsey. Another two lengths back now to Jackman, who's racing in fifth, a good six lengths off the leader. Then another three lengths back to Casanova King, who's got to make up some ground. No more Bambino's a good nine lengths off the lead. The trailer is Dreaming Dancer. They're midway around the turn. Get her done. Got her dead. Shows the way by a length and a half. 88 is tracking on the outside in second. Dictator ships just inside of that one, racing in third. From the back of the pack, here comes Casanova King, putting in a run, but he's still five lengths off the lead of Get her done. Got her dead. Who comes to the top of the lane with a three length lead, and he opens up on him. Racing in second on the outside is 88. Down towards the inside is Jackman, but get her done. Got her dead in Tegan Olton. Much the best. They go on to rump in the Burt Delaney Memorial. They win by five. Jackman ran second. Dictatorship was third. Tight for fourth between Nomo Bambino and Casanova King. Racing in the Challenge Championship and 8KR Streak Inversion broke very well. Terrible break for Mr. Michael. Towards the outside, Miracle Recovery on the far outside, a Corona Dash. Also in the leading group is Exciting the Planet, but along the inside, Exciting the Planet has the lead. Miracle Recovery on the far outside. Towards the inside, KR Streak Inversion. Exciting the Planet, KR Streak Inversion. Miracle Recovery, KR Streak Inversion wins at a half. Exciting the Planet ran second. Miracle Recovery was third. Strutton high.